And now at noon, a fire rescue in Beverly. Flames tearing through this apartment building. Crews from more than half a dozen towns on the North Shore rushed in to help get this fire under control. Crews are back at the building on Trask Court investigating the cause. What we do know, dozens will go into the new year now looking for a new place to stay. WBZ's Brandon Truitt is live in Beverly. And Brandon, this was a tough one to fight. Yeah, Tiffany, the fire department tells me it took them about 10 hours to contain this fire. Right now, construction crews are here on scene boarding up what is left of this apartment building. It's really a shell of what it used to be. I'm told a lot of the inside is hollowed out. Now, we were told that this started at the unit that you're looking at, and then it quickly spread to some of the others. When firefighters got here, though, at around 7 last night, they were greeted with thick smoke pouring out of this apartment building. The heat was so intense that firefighters had to retreat from the inside and attack it from out front and overhead on ladders. Uh, we know that one woman was rescued from her unit. She was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. The fire department tells me that two dogs and a cat died in this. Now, the Salvation Army says that they are helping at least 40 people who were displaced from this fire. One neighbor that I just spoke with says that he came home from work at around 3 this morning and firefighters were still here trying to put it out. It was hectic, man. I've never seen so much, so much damage. I mean, look at it from the front, and it was, it was all through the back. I really feel bad for and terrible for the, whatever the people that have to go through now, finding new places. Forty people that have to find new places. That's a lot of people. But I really hope the best for them. And you're looking right now at some of the people who live in the adjacent building showing up with bins who are ultimately trying to retrieve some of their belongings. I'm told that there is a lot of water damage inside of that building that is next to it where those people are entering. Uh, the fire department tells me they know the unit where this started, although they are investigating the cause behind this. We're live in Beverly. Brandon True at WBC News.